Following the multi-ethnic and multi-religious shooting of seven people in southwestern France, authorities have insisted that alleged gunman Mohamed Marat acted alone. But a reporter with Italian newspaper Il Foglio is citing an anonymous source that Marat was both a religious extremist and a spy for French intelligence. My sources told me that uh, Marat was uh, an informer for the French Secret Services. He was uh, really well known by Secret Services, and uh, the Secret Services they asked for collaboration from uh, from Marat. I know that uh, in my world, but uh, I, can, I can say my sources on this case are, are pretty uh, reliable. A multitude of questions have followed Marat's death. How was Marat, who was on welfare, able to arrange his 2010 trip across Israel, Jordan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and possibly elsewhere? Il Foglio's source claims that French authorities had struck a deal with Marat, freedom of movement in exchange for valuable information. Yeah, I, can, I cannot use the word visa. I've been told that there was some kind of arrangement of agreement to facilitate the, his travels. I know that the entry, there was some kind of guarantee because uh, he had a really suspicious profile. But of course, if you, if you have a guy going in, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, and if you want to know what's going on in the training camps in uh, Afghanistan and in Pakistan, you have to facilitate your guy in his, in his travels. Prior to the shootings, France's domestic spy agency says they had followed Marat for more than a year. They had been tracking his brother, now in custody, since 2007. But it took France more than 10 days to track down Mohamed Marat. He was at his home, not some secret hideout. Speculation is mounting that Marat may have flown under the radar because France thought he was only working for them. It was a disaster. I mean, uh, it, it was an intelligence, uh, intelligence operation went really bad. I mean, uh, one, of, one of your informer goes mad and starts killing people in the streets. So, I mean, uh, there's a huge failure. France's domestic spy chief increased speculation by saying that during the 32-hour siege, Marat asked for a local intelligence officer by name and that he told her, quote, I was going to call you to say I had some tip-offs for you, but actually I was going to kill you, unquote. This admission has many wondering just how much contact Marat had with France's security agencies. France's foreign and domestic intelligence agencies have both publicly denied that Marat was an informant. Il Foglio says they have no physical proof, just the word of a government source who wants to remain anonymous. But clearly, many have valid questions about the Marat case, and many are looking for answers. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.